It looks like Grand Theft Auto 6 just might be releasing in holiday 2024 after all, and it might not have anything to do with what Rockstar is doing, but instead what Sony is doing and the development of the PlayStation 5 Pro. We'll be talking about all of that in this video today and a whole lot more. So I actually saw this on the GTA 6 subreddit the other day, and it was definitely pretty interesting and a really well done concept of what a PlayStation 5 Pro bundle would look like with Grand Theft Auto 6. This is something that I believe Rockstar did with the Xbox 360 for Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm pretty sure they did one with Red Dead Redemption 2. This is a great way to not only encourage players to purchase the new consoles, but also have an immediate game ready to go on those new systems. It's a win-win for Sony. It's a win-win for Rockstar and Grand Theft Auto 6. So I thought that concept right there was pretty neat, but it got me to do a little bit more research on the PlayStation 5 Pro, and I actually came across this article by Tom Henderson. It was written about a month ago, but I guess I actually missed it. It is exclusive PS5 Pro in development, could release late 2024. The article goes on to say, Inside Gaming sources have confirmed that the PS5 Pro is in development and could release with a tentative release date as of late 2024, so holiday season 2024. Now, in case you guys are wondering, Tom Henderson has had correct information in Grand Theft Auto 6 in the past that has been verified and corroborated by other reputable gaming journalists like Jason Schreer, who has also produced his own Rockstar Games news and info regarding GTA 6. And really the last we had heard of the PlayStation 5 Pro was back in September 2022. In fact, it was a day after the Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks because sources familiar with Sony's plans have actually shared details outlining the next iteration of the PlayStation 5. And it has been suggested that this new console will completely replace the A, B, and C chassis that have been in production since the console's launch. And the console currently named the D chassis PlayStation 5 will have almost identical identical hardware to the existing consoles already on the market. But a surprising new feature of this PlayStation 5 is that it is going to have a detachable disk drive, and it will connect to the PlayStation 5 using a USB-C port on the back of the console. So that's the last we heard about the PlayStation 5, and it's understood that this new model will phase out the current PlayStation 5 to cut down on production and shipping costs. And in spite of widespread reports, this is not the PlayStation 5 Pro model. So as for what the PS5 Pro specs will entail, the details are limited. However, we do know that Sony Interactive Entertainment is looking to accelerate ray tracing performance in its video games and its consoles. And just like the bump from the PS4 to the PS4 Pro, we can generally guess that the PS5 Pro is gonna have increased visuals, performance, and speed, but we don't know all the precise details. Now, the release of this PlayStation 5 Pro in holiday 2024 actually puts it right in line with the release schedule as Insider Gaming also predicts that the next generation of PlayStation, the PlayStation 6 or whatever it's gonna be called, would release until at least 2028. So that would make sense. And also back in February, industry insider Jeff Grubb ended up saying that Sony was planning to host a new PlayStation showcase before E3. So maybe that's when they would show off some of their new games and also talk about the new hardware coming towards the end of the year. So my line of thinking here is the PlayStation 5 Pro set to come out in 2024. We also know from other reports, including Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2, that Rockstar's tentative release schedule is holiday 2024 as well. This could be the perfect marriage. And we know that currently Rockstar Games has a relationship with Sony where we get exclusives in both Grand Theft Auto Online and Red Dead Online. Now, all that could change, but I would imagine by the time GTA 6 rolls around, that contract is going to remain. So wouldn't it be the perfect fit? You have the PlayStation 5 Pro, which would be advertised and marketed as the best console to play GTA 6 on, and you have GTA 6, arguably what's gonna be the game of the decade whenever it comes out, bundled together with the PlayStation 5. As I said at the beginning of this video, it really does sound like a win-win scenario for both Rockstar Games and Sony. 
And we don't know all the reasons why Grand Theft Auto 6 has taken so long to come out, but we do know one of them is the current generation console market. It finally looks like it's stabilized following the chip shortages, and Sony is expecting a massive fiscal year 23 for console units sold. They're expecting around 30 and a half million units. So not only is that a large number of people getting the current generation consoles, but it also makes sense soon, maybe think spring 2024, that Sony could start phasing out past gen games. And we know, obviously, that Grand Theft Auto 6 is not going to be coming out on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. It is going to be a current generation console game and PC title only. And all of this is coming at a time where interest in Grand Theft Auto 6 is nearly at an all-time high. So if you actually use Google search trends for Grand Theft Auto 6 or hashtag GTA Roman numeral 6, you'll find that all the terms related to the next installment of the GTA series is currently the second highest ever. Obviously the first was last year's leak, but right now is the second highest ever interest according to people that are searching for Grand Theft Auto 6 that are using those keywords of all time. So would this be the perfect time for Rockstar Games to announce something when really the interest seems to be at an all-time high if the leak, which wasn't even official, generated that kind of response. You can only imagine what the official reveal and announcement is going to do. It is probably going to absolutely break the internet. So let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. When do you believe Rockstar is not only going to announce and reveal officially GTA 6 for the first time, but do you think its release date could coincide with the release of the PlayStation 5 Pro in holiday of 2024? And not to start a console war, but what system do you think you're going to be playing Grand Theft Auto 6 on? Is it going to be the PlayStation 5? Is it going to be the Xbox Series X or S? Or are you going to wait till Rockstar makes their official announcement to see if there's any exclusives or goodies that come with playing one system or another? Or are you going to stick on the tried and true PC? Or does that depend if PC receives the title on day one? I know there's a lot of variables there, but let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're thinking in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.